Welcome back to Two Gun Terry and Friends. I'm Two Gun Terry, and I am so excited to be with you here today. Something I rarely ever work on in these videos is the Iron Sight Pistol. So two gun cherry fans are used to seeing me work mainly with my rimfire rifle open gun. I love it because I'm a grandmaster with it. First of all, I shoot it faster than any of my other guns. I'm more accurate with it. I just like it better. I'm better with it. I mean, of course I like it better. But in order to stay competitive in the other divisions, you have to work on your pistol shooting too. So today we're going to work on rimfire pistol open and rimfire pistol. Get this folks. You haven't heard this in a while from me. Rimfire pistol iron sights. That's right, I converted one of my Volkortsen pistols to an iron sight gun. Uh, I just wanted to bring that gun up to master level or grandmaster, God, for, you know, God willing. But, uh, but I just want to bring these guns up to a higher level. Right now I'm shooting C, like a C class or B class or D class. I mean, who knows? I shot rimfire pistol irons one other time just to get the classification for Club 13. So uh, now I'm gonna, I shot it yesterday, no, day before yesterday. Um, and was shooting it pretty well. I just have to remember to take off my shooting glasses and put on my reading glasses so I can see the sights. <laughs> so, all right, let's get started with the rimfire pistol open. We'll start out here on roundabout and we'll see where it takes us. Now roundabout, by the way, again, a hint is in the name of the stage, roundabout. They want you to shoot it roundabout. So in other words, one, two, five, four, stop, roundabout, and into the stop plate. Another way to shoot it, which is, by the way, a little safer and almost just as fast, so a lot of you may want to shoot it this way instead, is one, two, four, five, stop. As you see them, you're standing here, and as you move across the stage, you're shooting them as you see them. Bang, 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 and then into the stop plate. I shot it that way for years and years and years. Once I got super confident in what I could do here, I switched around to the roundabout way, and um, I think it's faster. I've been shooting it that way for over a year, and I, and I put a pretty good time. So let's we'll stick with that for today. First up, rimfire pistol open. This is my uh, Black Mamba. I used to have iron sights sitting on this gun along with the optic, but I took those off just a couple days ago, put them on a different gun that I have. And that's now my iron sight gun, and this one here is a straight open gun now. So let's get started today with the Black Mamba. I also have my Scorpion, and at one point we'll time the two firearms to see which one I shoot faster. Should be about the same time, I would think. The only thing I had about this, and if you watch the Volkortsen comparison video, I felt that this gun is a little light out in the front, and it has a little more muzzle flip than the all-metal uh, scorpion the lower on this gun the, the black mamba the lower is polymer on the scorpion the lower is uh, made out of a cnc cut aluminum by the way the scorpion is the only 100 percent made 22 rimfire pistol that i'm aware of made by volkortsen so that's why i own them both the scorpion because it's 100 percent volkortsen the black mamba because it was the latest and the greatest um, and they do feel different the two guns feel slightly different uh, especially as far as weight goes, um, but I shoot them both pretty well. So let's start with the uh, Black Mamba, and we'll see how we do. I move all the way over to the right side of the box for a right-handed shooter, all the way to the right side of the box, brings the plates closer together. I get my feel for things, my stance, I'm pretty much, my, my left foot is slightly, maybe a, maybe a couple inches more forward than my uh, left foot, Bend my knees a little bit, tushy goes out, back is arched. We call it an athletic stance. Let me go through a couple times dry and then we'll see what happens when we're ready. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. What I'm doing when I'm going through my dry firing of the, of the targets, I'm making sure my dot is stopping on every plate I do it slowly at first, maybe 50% speed, 
and then gradually faster, faster, faster until I'm seeing it at what I think is 120% speed. Then I shoot it at 100% speed. Does that make sense? You'll see what I mean. So first time through, bang, 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 bang. I'm showing my brain what it looks like to stop on every plate. Now we're gonna go a little faster. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, 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 bang. I also have a little twist I do as I'm coming to this front plate here. I'm doing a little shift with my lower body. My knee seems to be kicking out this way. Probably from my waist, so I'm kind of kicking it. All right, one more time, then we'll go for it. Bang, 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 bang. All right, here we go. Here we go. One ninety one. Felt a little better. 187 it was just a little better. All right, here we go. I line my body up on the hardest plate, the trap plate, for in the roundabout order. The back plate, actually in any order, that back right plate is the toughest shot. So I square myself up to that target so that that's the easiest position I'm going to be in as I'm going through the the motion. So that'll be my most comfortable position. I come over here to the one plate, bang, 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 bang. Adjust my feet so I feel more comfortable. Bang, 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 bang. Okay, here we go. See the dot, baby. You gotta see your dot on every shot. That's a t-shirt. I had to move the camera a little bit. The hot sun, even though it's January, it's still South Florida. And it was overheating my camera, so I had to move it over a little bit. And uh, hopefully you can still see the shot. I was shooting about one eight with the uh, Black Mamba. Let's see what we could do with the Scorpion. Front right of the box. Line up on the toughest shot. Bing, 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 bing. Bing, 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 bing. Bing, 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 bing. Last one felt good, I'm ready to go. I was hesitant. 181. And another 181. Something I want to show you about gripping the rimfire pistol, especially if it's the uh, 1911 style grip, like on the uh, Black Mamba and the uh, and the, uh, the Black Mamba and the Scorpion, uh, and on my Ruger 2245 Lite has the same grip angle. I want to make sure I get my hand way up in that beaver tail. I mean, I'm jamming that sucker up there. I'm making it difficult for this gun to come back like that when I fire. The other thing I'm doing is I'm putting my thumb on my thumb rest. And then I'm clamping that, clamping down on it. I'm gripping it pretty tight with this hand. You can see my thumb turning white. And then this finger, I'm trying to keep it loose and able to go as quickly as it can. And then bing, 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 bing. And if you do that, this gun won't move at all. This thing will stay still in your hand for the most part, or at least reduce the uh, recoil substantially just by forcing your hand up into that beaver tail. Good tip. All right, so that was the two open guns, the Black Mamba and the Scorpion, both by Volkortsen, rimfire pistol open gun. Some people say rimfire pistol optic. Uh, I guess either term's acceptable, but the right term is rimfire pistol open. This is a rimfire pistol iron sight gun, RFPI. I have my iron sights that I took off my Black Mamba and I just put these on here maybe four days ago. I shot it one time, maybe a five mags worth two days ago. And today's the first day I'm gonna run it against the timer to see how I do. So 
This was a uh, Ruger Mark III 2245 Lite. I put a bunch of Volcourts and parts in it. All, all Volcourts and internals, Volcourts and barrel, Volcourts and trigger, Volcourts and mainspring. Everything but the bolt is still Ruger and the lower grip polymer, uh, the lower is still uh, Ruger. Everything else on this thing is Volkortsen, including the compensator and the, and the uh, well, the sights I bought from Volkortsen. I don't know who makes them, but the, but the sights came from Volkortsen. And then a tandem cross thumb rest, probably made by Stripling Customs. So, all right, let's see what we can do with this guy. This one should be a little easier to shoot. I don't have to find a dot. Just bring it up, focus my eyes on this front sight. And once I see it through my notch, fire. Easy. Oh, wait, one major thing. I have to take my shooting glasses off because I can't see a damn thing without my regular reading glasses. So these are my reading glasses so that I can see the sight up close. Even when I'm shooting the open guns with the dot, I still can't see a damn thing because my vision's terrible, but I can make out the dot enough where I can see it against the white plate and shoot. Uh, no chance at all unless I have my reading glasses on for this gun. So let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Eleven. I had some hesitation. Let's try it again. Two forty-nine. That sucked. I have to go reload, and we'll try this thing again. That's why I'm here today, practicing with it. Um, I'm pretty sure I could shoot that a lot better than I just did. But practice will tell. Be right back. I'm going to keep trying a couple more with this one. Rimfire pistol irons by uh, Ruger with the full quartz and upgrades. Have my reading glasses on. I can see my target, my sights. Let's see what the timer says. Twenty six took forever for that first shot. Two sixteen, but I sent one over the top. I'm going to keep shooting this gun. It's fun to shoot. All right, that's it for today. Two Gun Terry saying thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Always, always enjoy having viewers stop by and send me comments. I love to respond. Um, we have the uh, Florida State match. Uh, not this weekend coming up, but the following weekend. The 14th, whatever that weekend is around the 14th of January up in Volusia. If you haven't had a chance to sign up yet, get on practice score. It was misspelled on practice score. They put down 2021 Florida State Steel Challenge Championship. But if you click on that, you'll see it's 2023 and it's still active. And they're looking for people to sign up uh, to get the attendance up some. Two Gun Terry saying thanks for stopping by and we'll see you out at the range. Bye now. Happy New Year. That's all I have for now. Thank you for stopping by. And remember to like, subscribe, and do what? Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.